however, there is a third vital element to ballistic warfare. Rate of fire. This modern machine gun has a firing rate of 12 rounds a second. The automatic weapons used by modern armies use the recoil energy of each shot to reload the chamber and fire a second round. But even before explosives, ancient military commanders demanded that their engineers and scientists improve the rate of fire of their war machines. The simplest way to improve the firing rate was to use the soldier himself. The firing rate from a simple bow and arrow can be vastly improved with training. The bows are made of different materials, such as animal horn and sinew layered together to form a laminate. This means that as the bow is pulled, the energy is stored without the bow snapping. In the right hands, even this simple technology can produce rapid fire. The Huns controlled a vast empire that came out of Central Asia in the 4th century AD. It swept across Europe. Conquered soldiers were amazed by the rapid fire of the Huns. For hundreds of years, the Huns' rapid-fire secrets have remained a mystery. But now, in modern-day Hungary, one man has resurrected the ancient art. Lajos Kassai is one of the world's leading archers and has developed through years of training to fire the bow to the same standards as the legendary lightning strikes of the Huns. The ancient Huns used to hold their arrows like I do, enabling them to fire arrows one after the other very rapidly. To prove the effectiveness of the ancient techniques, we've challenged Laios to see how quickly he can fire 12 arrows. Laios is able to hit every single moving target. Twelve arrows in just 17 seconds. But the Huns had a second important resource, the horse. They were a mounted people who used their extraordinary horsemanship to execute lightning attacks and rapid battlefield maneuvers. The challenge now for Laios is to replicate his rate of fire while galloping on horseback at 20 miles an hour. At 22 miles an hour, Laios fires six shots in 10 seconds. The Huns use the bow in a 180 degree arc and reach 300 to 400 yards, able to kill horses and even pierce armor. These highly mobile lightning assault troops were among the best trained in the ancient world. And the same is true today. Commando and paratrooper units execute assaults deep into enemy territory. The very speed of their advance can cause such troops to become cut off. But even this was not a problem for the Huns' cavalry archers. By drawing the enemy toward me from behind, I can fire at them backwards. A static archer uses his left brain, but a mounted archer uses his right, the much more intuitive part of the brain. But their success still relied on the training and expertise of the rider. The task of military engineers everywhere is to reduce the importance of the soldier by replacing him with technology.